Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to be making this double layered resin art. I'm using a mixture of tints and pigments in my resin. I love to use this sort of combination when I'm doing two layers as that way you can see more dimension to the artwork. The first colour that I'm starting with is a tint from Just Resin and I'm just putting that all over my board and then I'm going to be going in and creating little puddles on top with different pigments and tints and creating a really cool multi-layered effect. The next colour that I'm using is called Sapphire and this is a pigment paste that I got from Artie Sue's. The Sapphire pigment from Artie Sue's is so beautiful. It's got a really deep blue but with a beautiful metallic shine through it. I'm also just applying a black and I will also apply a different colour blue to this artwork and then I'm slowly blending them together using my hands and the hairdryer. I really love using a hairdryer to blend different resin colours together. It creates such a cool and different effect than just mixing with your fingers. Um, I love how it creates like sort of a water, sort of marbly feel. It looks amazing when you use it with blues. Just remember that when you do use a hairdryer, it's guaranteed to get covered in resin. That's just how it's going to be. So use an old hairdryer or go and buy one that's just for the purpose of creating your resin art. I'm just applying some more of my light blue tinted resin. I got this tint from Just Resins and also the resin that I'm using is the Just Resins range as well. I bought a pack of 12 tints and it was I think like under $20. It was super affordable. The tints are really beautiful colours and I love layering like proper pigment with just tints because it creates a really cool multi-dimensional feel to your resin artwork. Now that my first layer of resin has had over 48 hours of drying time, I'm just sanding it back with my sander. Then I will clean the board with just a bit of wet paper towel and let it dry. And then I'm going to add my second layer of resin. The reason why I sanded back my first layer just a little bit is just to give my board a little bit of tooth and something for my second layer of resin to grip to as resin really likes porous surfaces to grip to and doesn't too, do too well on a surface that isn't porous. 
I'm using three colours for my top layer of resin. I'm using the same sapphire colour that I used on the bottom layer as well as a black. And then I also mixed in this pigment powder that I bought from Artie Sue's which is like an iridescent flakes and that I've mixed in just with, through the clear resin to give it a really cool iridescent flake and shine. And I did mix I think a little bit too much in because I didn't want it as shiny as this but it still looked really cool with this artwork. I do think the shimmery pigment powder I got from Artie Sue's did add a really cool like shiny quality and added like a new interest into the piece so I'm really happy that I used it and I'll definitely be using it on other pieces I think I just will go I won't be so heavy-handed when I'm mixing it into my clear resin I just got I think a little bit too excited because it's new and it's super sparkly and I love sparkles If you want to see more of my artwork or quick little time lapse videos that don't make my YouTube channel, go and check out my Instagram. It's just Sherry Vegas. I decided to name this piece Eye of the Galaxy, and I think it's a really fitting name. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see new art tutorials, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.